You gonna jump in, Marissa? I didn't bring my bathing suit. Daddy all gone. I tried to tell her you just went for a run, but <laughs> she was so sad that Daddy was all gone. You woke up, woke up, and I was gone, huh? Daddy's all gone. That's okay. You sweet girl. I got this recommendation of a hike from a friend that lives out here and she said it's amazing. Um, probably one of the prettiest hikes she's done since she's been living out here. So really excited about this one. It gets awesome reviews. It was a little bit of a drive for us today. <laughs> We're eventually going to make it. We got a little turned around. It was Google's fault. You know it. I thought you said this was classified as an easy hike. Yeah, that's what the, that's what the thing said. It's easy for a triathlete. I've seen people with skis, with sleds. I've seen zero snow yet though. And no, that is not a repeat shot. This just keeps going straight up with rocky terrain. You gonna jump in, Marissa? I didn't bring my bathing suit. It doesn't matter. We've done that before. <laughs> no excuses. Crazy windy up there. Yeah. Kind of hunker down and let her touch the snow, got what we needed, and got out of there. <laughs> it's already gone, just right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big difference. Super cool that you can see a glacier in August. It's just a beautiful spot, especially for the amount of hiking you have, you do to get here. You're talking 20, 30 minute hike and you're at the glacier. I mean that's that's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs>
the weather's been absolutely perfect. It's been sunny and warm, but just has like this breeze. It's made um, it's made boondocking really easy for us. Um, it gets a little chilly at night, but you know, just cool enough to have a good sleep, really. We just drove through historic Central City. That is so cool. It's such an adorable little area. Kind of out of nowhere too, because you're just in the mountains and there's nothing around. And all of a sudden you got these massive casinos and cities just for, you know, for the casinos pretty much. So we're always learning new things no matter where we go, what we do. Um, and a couple of things we've learned at this, this is our first national forest we've stayed in, 18 bucks a night, which you know, there's no hookups, no dump station, no water fill up. So we have to drive somewhere else to dump our tanks once we're done, but you know, we want to try it out. And um, one thing that we did not know or notice, we pulled into our site yesterday here and uh, we assumed this is one site. We assumed it was site number 29. Well, it turns out it's not just site number 29, it's also site number 30. You've got three or four of these kind of setups throughout the park and of course you know how observant we are, so we'd already, I'd already lined up the RV and put down the levelers and got the slide outs out and we were excited because it was a good level site, looked like it had a lot of room. It turns out this is for two sites, so if we want this whole thing we got to pay 36 bucks a night, which um, we just didn't want to do so somebody if somebody wants to stay with us uh, we are technically on our side but there's not a lot of room here for two rigs like if two rigs had slide outs there's no way like this is made for two tent sites or two very small trailers we've had to wedge our car in here sideways just to uh <laughs> stay on our side of the site this has been a beautiful area if we if we were into casinos man this would be a great spot too but and the county fair i mean there's a lot happening around here and marissa's not very happy about the situation with the spot <laughs> what you're not <laughs> we uh haven't had anybody come have you talked about it? yeah i've talked about it so uh, it just and it's not that you don't want to share your spot but you don't want to share your spot. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, you're going to be all up in each other's business. That's what it is. is basically I mean, what it is. camping, I mean, your neighbors are close as it is, but this is like, you're seriously yeah, <laughs> like, like, like camping a, together with strangers. It's like, um, what is it? Like going to one of those Japanese restaurants and y'all sit at the same <laughs> table, but it's sure, camping. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, when I do my usually walk around in my underwear in the morning and I step out of the steps, I mean, I'm basically gonna be walking right into their camper. Uh -huh. It's very awkward for everybody. Pretty pricey for boondocking and being so close and sharing a site. Like there's nowhere to even park your car. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's know. the thing the, too. It's beautiful, but I don't know. I'm not super crazy about the layout. It could yeah. have been a little different, but we're excited to be here. We're excited yeah. about the area. Um, we've got, you know, some a couple of cool spots we want to check out, and uh, this is a good spot for that. So um, you, you can't know. pick an ugly spot in Colorado. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it's very <laughs> difficult. Even our cow pasture we had a couple, you know, a couple <laughs> of weeks ago. I mean, we had a good, you know, good view of the sky and. I don't know, that one was kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But it's very really difficult to find an ugly spot in Colorado. But we don't want to be all complaints. I mean, we really enjoy the area. We really enjoy what they've got here. And, uh, Flowers. Wanna say bye? Bye. <laughs> and we're going to call it a night. We'll catch you guys later. One octopus. Eight. Octopi. Octopi.